Hello, Beth Marshall here again with a very quick video on how to find relative locator elements in Selenium 4.0 using C sharp.net. So I am in the process of learning how to create a test automation framework using the latest Selenium and also um, .NET Core and C Sharp. Um, it took me a while to find the correct syntax to use. So I just wanted to share with you what that syntax looks like and let you take a look at my code. So what I want to do in this test is log into this um, OpenCart website, which is a really good website for practicing your automation on and click this here log out button. So um, I'm sure I could use the um, IDs or you know other parts of this element to log out, but I wanted to practice my relative locators. So to do that, I asked my test to find this button by virtue of the fact that it was to the right of this element here. So this test is a little flaky because if this screen ever gets screen size ever gets removed we can see here that it turns into this button and the test actually fails at this point because it says it can't um, can't find this element in relation to that one anymore so just be very weary as angie jones says in her brilliant article here be very weary using um, relative locators but if you do want to use them this is what the code looks like. I shall happily share this on GitHub. We can see here you find the logout button by using the relative by dot with tag name dot and then where you which direction of locator that you want. And there's a full list um, on the Selenium website. So I'm looking to the right of this particular element to find an item with the tag name of list. And in Java, which is where a lot of the current articles have been written, the syntax is a little different. So it's kind of hard to intuitively know um, what the differences are. So the same command in Java would be find element. It doesn't need the relative by but this is essential in C sharp. If I take that away, you can see that this test um, gets squiggles. It doesn't understand what it's doing. Um, there's also imports that you can include um, for, uh, in Java that you don't need to use. If you look at Angie's article, you can see those in detail. We can see here it's got, um, as with a lot of uh, .NET, syntax it's case sensitive so you use capital w capital t capital m and then the java is dot to the right to right of whereas dot net c sharp is right of so just be um very conscious of this when you start to write your relative xpath so Let's see it used in a test. We can see here there's a logout test. It will log in using my page object model that I've set up here with um, following Carlos's uh, awesome course. It goes along to the home page, which is the dashboard page, and it clicks this logout button, which we've mapped. So let's see this test in action. It's going to run this on um, Chrome driver. I've also got um, a tutorial on how to run it in um, Edge Chromium, if that's something that you wanted to take a look at. So we can see here, my test always maximizes the browser before it navigates to the site. And it's clicked the logout button and the test has passed. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, I'll make my code available um, 
to you in GitHub so you can take a look, little look, but hopefully that will help somebody not go through the pain that I did of trying to find out what this syntax was. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.